In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a great looking website without a developer. And by the way, this is just one lesson as part of a 10 part series on how to get started with your own online store. In case you missed the other eight lessons, make sure you sign up for my free e-commerce mini course below. Now, one of the first things that I want to do is to squash some of the common fears that you might have with designing a great looking website. And first of all, I know many of you are not technical and probably think that you simply can't do it. A lot of you out there probably think that starting a good looking website is expensive and you need to hire a developer. Well, today, what I'm going to do is show you that you don't need a developer to help design your website. And you actually don't need any technical experience at all to get a great looking e-commerce store. A number of you have also asked me whether it's okay to start an online store without a whole bunch of products. And a lot of you have asked me whether it's okay to start a website even if you only sell a single product. And the answer to that question is absolutely yes. So let's go ahead and get started with the live demo. Keep in mind that all the shopping carts that I've recommended in this mini course offer templates that will take you 90% of the way there. So I'm going to start by giving you a tour of all the templates that you can find online. Now what you're looking at here is the Shopify theme store. And as you can see, they offer a number of free and paid themes. And actually, a number of these themes cater to a single product, whether you have a small catalog, a medium catalog, or a large catalog. One of my students, Abby, makes millions of dollars per year over at VivianLu.com. She sells a product that allows women to wear high heels all day long. And if you look at her site, it is a single long form sales page that sells just one thing. Anyway, back to the Shopify theme store. The first thing that you're going to notice is that all these themes are beautiful. And the way it works is that once you buy a theme, there will be specific slots where you can add your own photos and replace the verbiage with your own copy. And voila, once you've done that, you instantly have a great looking online store. All these themes on the Shopify theme store are either free or cost $380 or less. And if you opt for a free theme, you don't have to pay any money at all. And as you can see here, even the free themes look pretty good. Now, if you choose Big Commerce as your shopping cart, likewise, Big Commerce has an equally good theme store as Shopify. And as you can see here, all the themes are between $200 to $400. They also offer a number of free themes as well, and all these are pretty great looking. And once again, the way you use these themes is you replace the photos with your own photos and your verbiage and your logo with your own logo, and you are ready to go. Likewise, if you decide to go the open source route and use WooCommerce, there are literally thousands of free themes because WooCommerce is built on top of the most popular platform in the world, WordPress. You can literally find tens of thousands of free WordPress themes by just Googling free WordPress themes. And once again, you just have to replace your own photos and your own verbiage with whatever is appropriate for your own online store. Now, instead of just showing you a bunch of themes that can be bought in a theme store, I thought I'd just show you how easy it is to replicate my kids store over at kidincharge.com. Kid in Charge is a store that my kids started when they were 9 and 11 years old. And if a bunch of little kids can design a great looking store, then so can you. You guys can head over to their site real quick and take a look over at kidincharge.com. They are super proud of their website. So here's how it's going to work. For the remainder of this lesson, I'm going to show you how to implement my kids store theme on Shopify. Then in a subsequent lesson, I will give you the exact same theme and step-by-step -step instructions for WooCommerce. This way, no matter which e-commerce platform you choose, whether it be Shopify, WooCommerce, or BigCommerce, you'll have step-by-step -step instructions on how to create a great looking online store without spending any money on a theme or a designer. Sound good? All right, for the purposes of this tutorial, you'll need to grab the image files for kidincharge.com using the link below. These are the exact images that my kids use for their store and you'll need them to follow along. Now, the reason these images are important is because it will show you approximately how large your images need to be and the aspect ratios. So this tutorial starts on my blog over at mywifequitterjob.com. And if you want to follow along step by step, go down here and then click on the Shopify link, which will take you to the Shopify homepage where you will sign up for a free trial. So to follow along, you actually don't need to pay any money. You can literally follow along for free. So just enter in your email address here. And it's just going to walk you through a bunch of steps. So actually, I'm just going to hit skip all here. But you can feel free to enter in this information. I'm not really sure what Shopify does with it. It's more likely just for Shopify's knowledge. So I'm going to hit skip all here. And just give it some more information about my online store. 
I'm going to shop sign up with email and I'm just going to make a password here and that is going to create a Shopify account okay and here's the wizard all right so it literally just walks you through everything and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just add a product I'm literally just going to go down these 10 steps so add a product and this is my kid's store over at Kid in Charge. So I literally just stole the graphics from my kid's site. And again, I can give you all those graphics in a folder. So I'm just going to enter in a couple products here just to populate my store. I'm not going to enter a description. I'm just going to add some images here. You'll, you'll get all these images once you send me a receipt. But I have three products or four products. So I'm just going to add them here. Okay, I'm going to hit save. And from here, I'm going to set up my online store. And just keep in mind, this tutorial is really just designed to help you set up the aesthetics for your site. Later on, you're going to want to register a domain and set up payment processing. But the purpose of this tutorial is really to show you how easy it is to create a really good looking online store. So I'm going to click on set up online store. And I'm just following along with the wizard here. I'm going to click on customize your online store and customize theme. And it's going to ask you which theme you want to use. I'm just going to use the free Dawn theme. So I'm going to click on Add here. And what it's doing now is it's installing that theme on my website. And then from here, I'm going to click on Customize. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply populate my graphics onto this theme. So I'm going to click here. And then for the first image, I'm going to click Add Images. And I'm going to add this splash with my kids wearing their cool t-shirts. I'm gonna click done. So that's what it added there. And then I'm gonna add the tagline for my kids store, which is clothing for, for aspiring entrepreneurs designed by kids for kids. Okay, I'm gonna click save. And just some dials here. I'm going to reduce the opacity. I am making the banner height medium so you can see more of my kids. And then I am going to change the position of this to move it to the upper left. There we go. And I think I'm going to also make this bold. And then I'm going to click Save. And then as for my logo, I'm going to go under Theme Settings. And then I'm going to change the logo to the one that I'm going to provide you here. And this is literally the logo for my kid's shop. Okay, click Done. And then this logo looks a little bit small, so I'm just going to drag this thing here until it's about 200 pixels. And that is that. Okay. So let me just, and, and that's really all there is. Once you start adding products, it will populate these remaining sections of your online store. And let me just show you uh, my kids' store just for comparison. So this is the one we just designed. And this is my kids' store over at Kid in Charge. Looks pretty similar, right? And we just did this literally in five minutes. And if you want to take a look at what this store looks like, I'm going to hit, sorry, I'm going to hit publish. And then you can click on view your store to see what it looks like. Pretty good looking store. So literally, once you guys are ready to start your own online store, you're going to want to take the graphics that I give you, take a note of the dimensions and the aspect ratio, and then take your photos according to the photos that I provided you. Okay, so we're not done yet. You're going to want to add a custom domain. I recommend registering your domain over at a place called Namecheap or GoDaddy, whichever your choice is. And then Shopify will give you some directions on how to point that domain to the website. I'll let you do that on your own time. And then there's some miscellaneous things that you need to do, such as name your store. So I guess I'll just go through this process for you. I'm just going to name it Kid in Charge. You can enter in your phone number. And then just click Save. I guess the last step of this is to activate Shopify Payments. So that is over here. Go to Shopify Payments. 
And then really all you need to do is just click on activate Shopify payments. And it'll ask you for some additional information regarding where to link your bank account and that sort of thing. And after you are done with setting up Shopify payments, your store literally is good to go. All right, so that's just a quick and dirty tutorial on how to get set up with Shopify literally in less than five minutes. It literally took us less than five minutes to get started with this shop. Hope you enjoyed that demo. And hopefully what I've shown you today is that creating a great looking website isn't that difficult. And it's not that expensive at all. So don't be afraid. And don't think that you need to hire a developer. You can actually do all this stuff yourself. So if you enjoyed this lesson, consider signing up for my full-blown class over at ProfitableOnlineStore.com and I will walk you through the entire process of how to start your own online store and get traffic and sales.